Hi guys, my name's AJ. I'm going to talk a little bit about my project, Red Velvet Time Machine. It's a coming of age drama about the pursuit of closure. Themes are inner strength, social responsibility, bullying, kindness, friendship and that kind of thing. Some comparatives that I've looked at and tried to hone in on the factors of are like Wonder, Book of Henry, Pucks being a wallflower, they're all variations of coming of age dramas. All of these comparatives um, have a central chosen philosophy at the heart of the stories. For Wonder it's choose kind, for Book of Henry it's about legacy and not giving in to apathy, and for Perks it's very much about growing up and dealing with your childhood. So the Red Velvet Time Machine, the central philosophy being that strength in self grows from your hardships and your experiences and the right people will be the making of you and help you do that. I'll introduce you briefly to my main characters. Um, the first one is the main character, which is Rex Curto. He's based on Edward Scissorhands in terms of body language, his nature, he's really gentle and sensitive. He's mute as a result of childhood trauma. Um, he communicates through stories and illustrations, so that's his way of communicating with the world. So his need as a character is to come to terms with what happened as a child and subsequently confront his fears um, of violent behaviour and of not making a difference at the time not doing anything to stop what he sees second character is lola she becomes the best friend she's an orphan she's skeptical of people she's quite a guarded tough character what she needs from rex is to learn to trust someone again and he becomes that for her so adeline's quite a, a soft mom she's gentle but at the same time she's strong because she managed to get out of a really hard situation with two kids in tow Kane, um, I wanted quite like a dominating, tall, intense figure, and I really think Aid did a good job in the trailer for that. And lastly, as the art teacher, he becomes like a kind of confidant for the main character. And then the other is Christian, who's quite a main character. He's the bully, he has a disregard for women with the way he treats them. Um, something I was picked up on is to try and link Kane's character to Christian. Here's where the title comes from. Adeline would take Rex to the cinema to hide him there while Kane is being drunk and aggressive so that he didn't have to see it and she nicknames it the Red Velvet Time Machine. So the story begins when they start a new life, they've just moved away. Um, Rex is at a new college where he's picked on by a Christian. Lola steps in, they become friends. Um, Rex starts to see a figure following him around and he intensely believes that Kane is back but Adeline revokes the suspicion she doesn't believe he's back a beat point in the story is when christian attacks lola um he like kisses her and touches her without consent and this is a trigger for rex's unconscious trauma he kind of starts to remember what happened this is his chance to do something different and intervene and make up for what he believed the the problem he's trying to work through from his past next up kane approaches the kids when they're out, maybe at a park. Um, Evie's too young to remember who he is, but her world shattered when he tells her, I'm your dad. It's at this point, Adeline decides to tell Rex the whole truth. And the kind of final scene I'm picturing is he runs away to the cinema and his mum finds him and says, you can't hide in the time machine forever. Do what you do best, tell your story. The scenes I'm proposing to do are the opening sequence of the film, which, it's going to be quite short, but I'm hoping to do it in like one shot where a mum and a very young Rex come in, she sits him down, he's crying, and it's just as Kane's got back and started shouting and stuff. Maybe what's playing on the cinema screen echoes that, what he's seen. Adeline leaves the, the frame while young Rex is sitting there, half crying, and a while later um, you see the bottom half of a, a policeman come in. Um, and he ushers Rex out and takes him out. And then that's the end of... It's one shot, essentially. But that's to kind of set up the idea that the cinema's an escape when there's danger at home. Another scene I'd like to do kind of linked to this, although not cut within it, is a scene with Kane and Adeline. Um, sort of like maybe the triggered flashback. Um, I'd really like to do the scene where he full on attacks her and Rex is watching and he's yelling Mom we need to go to the time machine but she can't hear because this time she's proper knocked out A, a scene I'd like to do which I have some of filmed already from the trailer shoot 
is the introduction of Christian and Lola. So it's the first confrontation when Rex is is new, he's vulnerable, Um, he's at college, Christian comes up, is mean essentially, and then how Lola is introduced into that story and the difference it makes to Rex's life. Thanks for listening, Um, I hope it made sense, bye.